Another break now, but afterwards we'll have the weather plus a big day in sport. And I'm back at the Earth Course, the scene of this man's greatest triumph. He's back here in Dubai to talk about his win at the Dubai World Championship last year. I'll be speaking to Alvaro Quiros after the break. Hello again. Our top story tonight, Sheikh Mohammed has held talks with the French Defence Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian on several political issues and Abu Dhabi customs inspectors have foiled an attempt to smuggle more than 13 million Saudi rials through the UAE's land port. And remember, you can follow us on Twitter at Emirates underscore news. To sport now, Graham Clues joins us. Graham, you're glowing today. Usually that means you've met a sports superstar. I have another one today, Alvaro Quiros. Now, he won the Dubai World Championship and the Dubai Desert Classic last year. He was in town for just one day and I caught up with him earlier. Wow. So golf to start then. And Alvaro Quiros was back in Dubai for the day today. He returned to the Jumeirah Golf Estates where he picked up a huge check and that Dubai World Championship trophy in stunning fashion a year ago. And I went down to see if the memories had been flooding back. Last December, Spain's Alvaro Quiros produced the putt of his career at the 18th hole of the Earth Course to seal the biggest win of his life to date. The millions in prize money, coupled with also winning the Dubai Desert Classic earlier in the year, made him the most successful player in the Middle East. I want to think that there is something in common and obviously is the good weather, the, the shape of the golf courses are, are normally are in a great shape and, and you know it's a, it's a very nice week for me here. Um, the people treat us great, hotels are good, the food that we can eat is, is great too so it's almost perfection. I mean it, it, I don't really have any bad thoughts when I have when I come to the Middle East to play golf. Since the win, a swing change has led to a dip in form and Alvaro is now trying to make the top 60 on the race to Dubai leaderboard to be eligible to defend his title here next month. I'm going to play these two weeks in China, yeah. are going to be my last two chances. Hopefully I recover a little bit of my own way, of my own skills, of my own feelings and come back a little bit at the top of the leaderboards and qualify for the, for the race to Dubai obviously. This trip to Dubai was a 24-hour stopover, so he may not have time to take stock of what he achieved here last year. Lastly, I know you're only here for a day. Are you going to take a moment by yourself and just go out on the 18th green again and remember the feelings? Well, now that you said that, <laughs> maybe. Now that you said that, maybe. Um, it will be nice. Uh, sometimes I see the video at home, eh? don't, don't doubt it. I mean, I like to see that in a past time I was happy and, and exciting enough for this sport, yeah. The man famed for his huge shots may be struggling to make par at the moment, but the genial Spaniard will soon be back to his best as nothing seems to wipe the smile from his face.